Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious here, and today I'm coming at you with a quick tutorial. This one is for the XSplit community. I noticed as I was frequenting the forums that I saw a repetitive uh, post made about people having issues trying to edit their footage. A lot of people are using the local recording feature and recording their gameplay to their hard drive and then want to go edit that footage on their video editor later on. And what happens is the nature of the problem is this. If you take your video and you try to open it, I got Sony Vegas 11 here. When you drag it in, you have just an audio file like this and the video does not show up. I've done so much work with video in the past that I happen to know kind of like what causes a problem like this and a really quick and easy fix. The fix I'm going to show you doesn't revolve any transcoding or anything. So you're just going to be extracting the video in its raw format and therefore you don't lose any quality and it's a lot faster than if you had to transcode it. So let me show you a few things real quick. I'm, I have uh, media info installed here and you can see some details on these files. They're recorded in video format AVC, Advanced Video Codec. This is H.264. The audio stream I have set to use AAC, Advanced Audio Codec. And if I go under the view to tree, I'll show you some more interesting things. You can see all the details of the encoding settings that XSplit uses for um, the H.264, which is really great. Uh, I saw posted in the FAQ for XSplit that why do we get the gray screens when we upload our video to YouTube? And the FAQ says because YouTube does not support B frames. And that's actually incorrect. I'll let you know that YouTube does support B frames. It doesn't like to have more than, say, three. But what it does not properly support is B pyramid. And I noticed looking at the encoder settings, XSplit does not disable B pyramid like I do when I encode my own videos. So if anyone from XSplit dev team ever catches my tutorial, just uh, give us the option to turn off B frames, and it will no longer give us the gray screen on YouTube. So here's all the other details. Here's one thing I want to point out that it happens to be the case of my videos. If I look under the video, my length, I'm looking for it here, 1 minute 55 seconds. And if I go to my audio, 1 minute 56 seconds. They're not exactly the same. I think this is because I'm a recently paid user and I'm using the game capture and I'm playing my game in full screen. When I start recording, the game closes out for a second, then I have to reopen the game again. So I lose video for a second. And uh, I think that's what's causing that slight change. But that might be there no matter what kind of recording you do. I'm not exactly sure yet. Now, the, so I'll go ahead and show you some websites here. Media info, if you'd like to have that program, it's really easy to get. Just go to the mediainfo.sourceforge.net slash en for English. You can always Google this and find it, of course. The next thing you're going to need is YAMB. You can find other alternative programs, I'm sure, but YAM is the one I've used since forever. yam.unite-video.com slash index.html. Uh, download the newest beta, which is from 2009. It's not exactly new anymore, but download that, save it, and uh, install it. So here's what we're going to do. i got YAM open already, and you have all your options here on the left. YAM, by the way, is just a graphic user interface for MP4 box. MP4 box is a really great muxer and demuxer or multiplexer and demultiplexer, depending on how you like to say it, for the MP4 container. Go to Editing, and go to Extract Streams from AVI, MP4, etc., etc. Uh, I'm going to browse to my file. Here it is. So here's the AVC. This is your video. Here is your MP4 AAC audio. So we're going to choose the video, and I'm going to extract it to an MP4 file, because Sony Vegas, the editor I'm using, uh, happens to like mp4 quite a bit. We'll go to next and it's going to extract it and we're done with that. I'll just leave it sitting instead of closing it. Now when I go back here, here's the original file and here's the new extracted file which only has the video and not the audio. And I'm going to drag this into Sony Vegas. And here we go. Now I've got the video and the audio. So real quick, I'll let you know, just an interjection, that XSplit is a streaming program. That's its design. That's its focus. Not a recording program. It's recording live and encoding in H.264, which is a lossy codec. So if you capture this lossless, uh, lossy, and then you go and edit it and encode it again, that means you're losing quality twice. So for some people, that may not matter, but if you're 
really focused on producing the highest quality content, then you want to use a capture program like Craps, uh, ZDSoft. There's so many of them out there now, I can't even start to name them all. I'm actually quite fond of, uh, I use Fraps and Playclaw are my two favorite ones. So you can definitely edit this footage now if you'd like. And Xplit is a really great program. But I'm just kind of throwing that out for you. And uh, like I was telling you about earlier, the audio and video are not the same length for me. They're off by just about a second or so. So I either can just deal with that, or since I'm in Vegas, I could actually stretch out the footage to match. So there you go. A little bit of information for you guys. You should be able to edit your videos now without any problem, no matter what editor you use. And you can use this information to perhaps uh, open up a lot of other possibilities for you. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.